Video Fit Solutions here. Today we're going to talk about caving and the dangers of it in one particular case. Caving can be dangerous. You run the risk of hypothermia, rockfall, drowning, exhaustion, and bad air. But with the proper preparation and gear, you can greatly offset the risk. Statistically, high-risk cavers run a 1 in 3,332 chance of dying. Roughly 1 in 624 cavers get seriously injured. Today we're going to talk about one of those sad cases. Please like, share, and subscribe. On November 24, 2009, John Edward Jones was visiting friends and family in Stansbury, Utah for Thanksgiving. Upon visiting, the family decided to take John caving. The name of this cave was Nutty Putty, which he was unfamiliar with. It was named after the lining inside the cave. Around 8 p.m., John and 10 other friends entered a part of the cave called the Big Slide. Soon afterwards, John and his brother Josh broke from the group to try and find a part of the cave called the Birth Canal. Once John and his brother separated from the group, he found a waist-high deep hole and decided to go head first. As John was traveling through the hole, he noticed he could not turn around. He did see an opening at the end, and it is believed that he sucked his chest in to try to reach the end so that he could turn around. As John was maneuvering, he was able to maneuver himself through a 10-inch hole. That's the size of a dinner plate. He was then stuck in an 8-inch side on the other end, pinning one arm behind him and one arm in front of him. As John's younger brother Josh frantically tried to save his brother, it was futile. There was no way he could do it alone. Josh then told a friend to stay with John while he went to get emergency services as he realized his older brother's demise was worse off than he originally thought. As Josh was waiting with John, it took over three hours for rescuers to finally arrive on the scene. It took rescuers about 30 minutes to reach the site, and then volunteer Susan Matola finally reached John because of her size and said, Hi John, I'm here to help. John's response was nasally, and his response was also, I really would like to get out of here. Attempting to reassure John, Matola told him, I'll have you out of here in no time. However, as she analyzed the situation, she realized this would not be an easy task. Jones was 6 foot 200 pounds and encased upside down, with only a portion of his legs protruding. The human body is designed to stand upright pumping your blood from your heart up to your brain. Being in an upside position placed John at serious risk of blood pooling and all types of other elements. When trauma physician Richard Murdoch was told of his condition, he knew he didn't have much time as his lungs would be filling up with blood and his capillaries would start to fail. His entire system would start to fail eventually. Rescues had to be very clever in trying to free John as the position that he was in could free toxins to rush to his heart and kill him. Murdoch estimated that John had about 8 to 10 hours to live. To add to the rescue's daunting task, there was no way to excavate him using heavy equipment or it could kill him, and there was no space around for anyone to go in. While rescuers used many tools to chisel around John, it just wasn't making enough leadway. They even tried using climbing cams to use a pulley system, but each trip took an hour. As rescuers were trying to figure out how to save John, they tried to keep him calm by singing religious hymns. However, his responses became more nasally and more labored. Once the rescuers were able to secure a pulley system, to their horror, they realized the way that his body was contorted, that pulling his legs, which was already causing him pain, could actually kill him. Unfortunately, 27 hours into his ordeal, Jones became unresponsive and was pronounced dead on November 25th, just after midnight. 
A 26-year-old medical student, Jones left behind a wife, Emily, a one-year-old daughter, and a baby on the way. In closing, the Nutty Putty Cave was closed after Jones' death and sealed supposedly forever. For those who are still enthused in cave diving, please be careful. It's just not worth your life. Rest in peace, John Jones. Video Fit Solutions out. God bless. Take care.